opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers stay up to date with all things cricket subscribe to crick buzz's youtube channel and press that bell icon now this is a good score and that was a spectacular knock Well, what a knock that was, and like you put it so precisely, you know, one more than what Yuvraj Singh got. Yeah, and that was what 15 years ago. It was, you know. So the, you know, another thing that you see is, you know, that's the pace that somebody could play 15 years ago. There's a man here, done it totally differently. I mean, yeah. he had hit six sixes in one over, whereas in his entire innings, he's hit five, and he's yeah. actually got three in the last over. He timed it so beautifully, and I think ever since he's come back uh, from his injury. he just seems calmer he seems so assured yeah. and it just brings actually the calmness that you actually look for normally people who score at this pace or you know are going at that stage is always rushed or you know you see people rushing or using muscle but this man is you know just timing it so beautifully yeah. and it just seems like it he makes the game look so easy i mean in the shot that he hit over point at the end that's still fine but the one that he in front of yeah. mid off It's just pure timing. It's it when he bats. It, this game looks like an easy game. It just seems like it's not easy to hit a chhaka man. He's just been fabulous. I think whatever happened to him in that injury or the period that he went through, it's just transformed this man. He, he always had the ability to hit, you know, scores, and we could see him play these knocks once in a while. But every time now he walks out to the field, you get that assurance from. Hardik Pandya, that is true. Watch. And joy that assuredness, he's right because every time you saw Hardik Pandya, perhaps in that pre-injury phase, I mean, he still had the he still had the goods to deliver. He had the talent. No one has the doubt around that. But for that kind of assuredness to come from Hardik Pandya, we saw that in the game against Pakistan as well. He said, "I'll handle it," and that's the one hallmark of his of this yeah, change, yeah. Hardik Pandya. This newfound confidence, I think, from being a captain, coming back from all there, becoming a captain, batting at four. And see, he was a six-five, six-five, six batsman. He batted consistently at four this IPL season, and then he's changed his game totally. Look at the way he's accelerated. He starts off. He has five fours, just a couple of sixes. Yep. Okay, mainly hitting the ball on the ground. Great wrist work and all that. In the end, he finishes like a Ferrari. Two hundred twenty-one runs in the last over, three sixes to finish. So that's what you see. Just look at the way this innings progression has gone. This actually, if you look at it, is a textbook innings progression from India. Yeah. They managed to make that you know run rate of ten point five between seven and fifteen. Between seven and fifteen to get ten point five, that's a big struggle. Actually, their first six overs is not were not great. Yeah, if correct. you compare it, their first six overs and but. The end was absolutely spectacular. Yeah, he ended it like Red Bull. I'm a Ferrari fan. I was very happy when he said Ferrari, <laughs> but Ferraris aren't ending it really well nowadays. But the one thing that uh, Joy pointed out, AJ, is the fact that I mean, of course, we know he can hit those sixes, but those boundaries, the way he was piercing the gaps, the way he was hitting the ball, especially uh, in that cover region, cutting the, uh, those balls, especially from Pat Cummins, those placements were brilliant from him today. Yeah, brilliant. I mean, on a, on a wicket like this, you can see, you know. people using the pace and hitting it behind point and you're mm. absolutely right to hit it in front of point tells you two things that the man has so much time that you know he can actually hit it in front of point and two his timing is so good and i think you know at the start of his innings he was not even looking to hit that he was given provided that room so he had a choice to hit it behind point or in front and he you know he picked the you know more difficult yeah. place and it's i guess it's because he's got so much time because when as a batsman i mean when you feel comfortable you generally it's it's only a split second that's the difference between you know the timing it or not timing but that assurance of himself that he has i think allows him to do that now he's playing with the field yeah. he's not just trying to hit the ball hard he's actually got so much time he's saying okay let me hit it here or let me hit it there and that's a hallmark of a great player because one is just striking it wherever it's hitting your bat one is you are hitting it where you want to hit it that is control and that's yes. control is not just with his that shot but i think entire innings he held that innings together he did i yeah. mean if you look at it i mean you otherwise 30 ball 70 you'd think you know somebody has just blazed it away and joyda pointed out beautifully that you know it it was he's timed it so well So he controlled the innings all the way, and then he just blasted at the end. And that shot that you talked about, yeah. I think, talks about how good a player he's become.